Ventus Kazami back with another video and today is a very exciting one. I'm going to be going over all of my completed customs so far. So I'm not going to be showing any works in progress. Um, I do often show work in progress scans on my Instagram and I will link that in the description of this video. And if my phone will just balance, we'll get started on this one. So, the first custom I'm going to show you is a relatively recent one. It was one of the first ones that I did when I got back into customing after a while. Um, and this is Darkest Nemi. Now, uh, I use... Uh, nail polish to do all my customs. This isn't the one that I use for Nemi, but this is just an example. Some of the nail polish that I use. Um, actually, for some of these customs, I do have uh, custom cards that have been made, and uh, I'll get those out now. I have a lot of custom cards at the moment. I'll go over those maybe at the end of this video, maybe in a separate video. I'll have a look how long this video is. Um, but I'll go over the specific ones for the customs that I do have. I think I've only got two, I think, yeah. So, here is Nami's card. So the back is Bakugan New Game. Uh, these cards, like, they're quite well known on Instagram, if you follow Bakugan on Instagram. Um, they're from the show. But then this side, um, uh, is from a friend of mine on Instagram called, um, I'm gonna completely butcher this name, I'm sorry, but Kiara Ventus. Anyway, friend I have on Instagram, I'll uh, I'll send them this video and I'll let them know that they're in this, but this is Nemi's card. Um, and yeah, there's Darkest Nemi and her card. Um, let's go and do the counterpart to Nemi next because that's only what makes sense, and this is Ventus Cross Phoenix, and you will see why when I pull the card out that it is called Cross Phoenix. Let me quickly grab the manual parts. There we go. And here is Cross Phoenix's card, so back again in game back, and there is Cross Phoenix. I just think these cards are beautiful. Uh, the artwork is amazing, so yeah, thank you to everyone involved in helping with those. So, uh, I have a few more uh, Legacy uh, Bakugan that I've custom. so this is, let me check if this is, no it's not wound up. So, this is a darkest, another darkest one that I customed, and um, it doesn't like to open. So there we go, he spins, and uh, I based his design off basically a Bone Knight, uh, a lot of Hollow Knight vibes I tried to go for, um, so I've never actually played Hollow Knight, but yeah, that's just what I get from the vibes of this dude, yeah, Hollow Knight vibes and Percival vibes obviously because it is a Percival, so yeah, that's this dude. Next is Legacy. Okay, so this was kind of one that I did on a whim. It's a Diablo. It's not the dual one, don't worry. I didn't custom a dual Angelo Diablo, but this was really a test for a few different colors because I used this one, I used this one, uh, I used the black and the red, which are a different case, but I used quite a few different colors on this one. And if I spin this battlefield, here we go. Here is my custom Diablo, which I have yet to name. I've yet to name the other one as well, the bone one. I think I did come up with a name at some point, but I really don't like it anymore. Um, so, I did also custom a trap. So this is to go with um, my Ventus... Uh, my Ventus... Helios line that I have. Um, it's a Ventus Falconfly, which I always thought Falconfly looked better than Ventus. So here's my custom Ventus Falconfly. 
and it's to go with the Helios line. I'll show that off it's in its own video, the Helios line with the Falcon Fly. So, the rest of my B2, or my, my Legacy series, Bakugan Customs, are both show accurate ones, or as show accurate as I could get them. Um, I'm very proud of these, I love these. So first, my uh, show accurate Storm Skyrus. So this was the first show accurate custom I ever took on. And I think it just came out beautifully. I love the way it came out. Uh, she's beautiful. Um, I did print out the card for her, uh, the back again new game card, which uh, I will grab up now because she just looks beautiful next to it. Um, I I love I love Storm Skyrus and a lot of Shun's back again. I absolutely love them. Uh, I don't think there's any of Shun's back again that I don't like. There's just a few that I don't have. I have actually just ordered a Jackal, so that's fun. Um, and the next one is one of the most recent ones that I've done, and that is a custom Ventus Hawk Tour. So, fun fact about this, this is one of the first Bakugan that I ever got. Um, it was in a three-pack with Pyrus Contestia and Aquos Helix Dragonoid. Both of the others have slight defects, they're not broken, but the Aquos Dragonoid opens a bit too easily, and the Pyrus Contestia has a little bit of a loose foot. But this is one that worked perfectly still, and I love them to talk to so much. I didn't know back then that I would love Shun's Barkagon as much as I do. Uh, and Shun as a character is amazing. Um, but I was adverse to customing this for a long time because I thought I'd mess it up, but finally I got the confidence, and I think it turned out really, really nicely. I haven't done all the dark green detailing on it yet because I'm not confident enough for that, but if I ever do get confident enough for that, I'll do it. Um, but yeah, I just love the way the lines turned out on his face. So, yeah. From here on out, these are all reboot back again that I've painted. Um, first, we will go with one of the oldest customs that I have. This is my Valkyrie uh, Pegatrix Ultra. Uh, now this wasn't using nail nail polish, so she actually doesn't close. Um, she's a static display because I put black paint all over the joints, and if you close her, she doesn't open without prying her open, so I don't close her anymore. Uh, so she's a static display, but she looks amazing, especially next to the rest of the Valkyries, so I will leave her up for now. The next Valkyrie, and one of the first ones that I actually completed and painted was... Uh, Phaserus, and then I completed the set with good old Chaos Fangzor. So, I think these three look really nice together, and I pretty much always have them together. And if I ever sell these, I will sell them as a set. Uh, if anyone's interested in buying customs from me, just say, really. I, I don't know if I will ever sell them, but if I do, I'll sell those three as a set, probably. Okay, next, the oldest custom that I have, this is the first one that I ever custom, and this is a... doesn't like to open very well, because again, I didn't use nail polishes on this, I used, uh, like, cheap acrylic paints. It's a Darkest Gorthion, and this is the phase wrist as well, but to a lesser extent, you can see there's red glitter all over it. And I did come back to this idea, and I made it epic. So... I just kind of thought that it was cool how the blue looked like a power surge going through it. And you want to see the way that I iterated on the glitter? It was with this, and it's, this is a recent one. And, yeah. I just think this, um, this Hydrus just looks absolutely beautiful. I'm so proud of this Hydrus. It's got a scar. It's tails also. This metallic shiny, sparkly, red, and it just shows how ideas can go far. Went from this to this, it's crazy really. I've not really named any of these apart from the Valkyries, uh, I just haven't had time. I've got one other set that I've named, no actually I've got two other sets that I've made but I've not completed one of the sets. So this is the completed set, we have 
for the Ultra. Um, Aurelis Hydronoid Ultra, and this is what I call my Ethereal set, or my Ethereal set, depending on how you want to pronounce it. So we have Pegatrix as well in the same kind of color scheme as the Hydronoid, and also an original Auralis Dragonoid, and this is one of my first reboot Bakugan, along with um, Diamond Hydrus Ultra, actually. Those were my two first reboot Bakugan, I bought them together. So these three are in another set, and if I do ever sell these guys, which I probably aren't going to, I will sell them as a set, but again, I probably won't be selling them. So, this one I actually have named, but it's just putting a word in front of it. So this is my Darkest Blood Simorgo, because I just thought it looked like it was drenched in blood. <laughs> it's a bit dark, but I just really like the way it turned out. Like, all the purple is now dark red. I think dark red works really well with Darkest Buck again. Like black and red. It's a very powerful colour scheme, especially for a black gun as cool and intimidating as Simorgo. And I wanted the custom of Simo's Bakugan, and one day I hope to be get a Bakugan of my own, but that's just dreams. <laughs> that's not going to happen, so, yeah. Next is another one of the older ones, so this was done with Sharpie, actually. I really want to redo this guy when I get a paint good enough, but this is a Aquas Mantanoid Ultra, but I tried to make him Cyborg Mantanoid Ultra because... Yeah, metal on one side, which I think looks really cool. Got the idea from Ozpress, the Bakatek Bakugan, with the two different colours, and so I just went with the one side. But I think he looks really cool. Um, I really want to redo him in a really metallic, really shiny uh, paint. Um, but yeah, when I redo that, I will definitely make a video on him. Um, but yeah. Only three left now. This is one I did on a whim. So this is a... Don't even remember the name of this one. But... Yeah. Just say it in the comments. I should know it. I know a lot of the names of the book. But this is one of the ones I don't know. Because I bought this guy on a whim. And I never really looked at him much. But I made him look like a candy. I tried to make him look like a candy the best I could. Because... Just and I wanted to mirror the sort of stealth bark gun of the uh, original series. And I thought pink worked well with the white and blue. So this is my candy, candy bark gun. And the next line is my jade ring line of bark gun. Now I'm going to do a tertonium as well, a chaos tertonium, but these are the jade ring bark gun that I have. The two jade ring bark gun. If you can guess what that other one is, put it in the description and we'll reveal it soon, but this first one here is the Jade Ring Gorthion. Um, so I've used this green and it just looks really nice. Jade Ring. It's the same same green that I used on the Skyrus, but I've just applied it slightly differently. So that you get this sort of jade effect. And I think it's really nice. I think it's really, really, really Beautiful. Last guess is in for this other black gun in the comments before I reveal it. Okay, three, two, one. And it's a Fenica Ultra. One of my favorite Ultras, but I think this is my favorite Ultra to come out of the new series. Um, the Jade one goes all the way down the back. Um, the feet. Oh, this metallic purple, the same on Nemi and Cross Phoenix. But I think I want to add little paws on here when I'm confident enough. The ears have jade on them and this metallic purple again. So yeah, just the tertonium left to do and then this trio will be complete. And that is all of them. That is all of my custom Barker gun so far. I will be doing more. I'm not going to stop doing customs. This is really, really fun. And I thought I couldn't do it for ages, but it turns out I actually can. My favourite custom at the moment is my Hawk Tour, but I think that's just because I haven't got over how good it looks and how relieved I am that I didn't mess up one of my first Markugan. 
And that is going to be it for today. I'm sorry for the longer normal than video. If, if you like this length of video, just say I'll try and make my videos this long if you'd like. Um, but bye everyone. Keep up with me on Instagram. I'm trying to get on t TikTok, but it doesn't seem to be kicking off. So I will see you all later. Uh, peace out, brawlers.